So I wanted to share with you guys um, the uh, battery box and a little bit of progress that I've made. And I'm going to go ahead and down here at the bottom anyways, this is going to be the inlet uh, where the, this is a, a four inch hole. Um, I haven't quite finished the lid. I'm not sure how I want to do the lid yet, um, but we've got the seam here. So right over here is a, approximately where we're going to put the uh, outlet pipe. Um, that'll travel up here. And that's where we're going to use the uh, Zephyr um, vent to uh, help vent the uh, hydrogen gas out of the house um, or the garage area. Um, went ahead and put some Danish oil on the uh, plywood here. Um, this part of the lid is incomplete. But I wanted to share with you what the other plywood looked like. So this, this part here is untreated, unsanded. Um, this over here has been nicely sanded. Um, one of these days I'll share the uh, sander with you that I used. Um, like I said, I was going to share a lot of the tools and so forth that I use. But the uh, mounting station area where we're going to mount the uh, equipment, um, that one's also been uh, sanded and uh, treated with Danish oil. Just going ahead and using the uh, Watco Danish oil, natural. Get as much of that wood grain to pop as possible. So for the inlet hole, because um, I wanted to have some kind of filter median, um, we're going to be using these. Uh, these are basically uh, computer tower vents. Uh, they're just protectors for the fan, so you don't get your fingers in the fan blade. But I figured if I put one on the outside and then another one on the inside, um, I can use some type of uh, filter media, preferably something that's really high flow. So if you guys have any recommendations on some type of filter media, um, that would be super appreciated. Um, right now, I'm just kind of eyeballing some like furnace filters um, as far as that goes. Um, and then I'll have to cut it out and size it to what I need. Um, pretty cheap anyways. These guys are maybe like two, three dollars a piece. Um, I'll have to attach them somehow and get that ready to go for the filter media. That way you can keep as much dust out of the battery area as possible um, and then also be able to vent it as adequately as possible. All right, so a few of the uh, tools here that we're going to use is we've got the uh, drill there. Um, but in order to make the hole for the uh, uh, Zephyr vent, I'm going to use a uh, hole saw. So this one is two and three eighths, um, you know, just the size to accommodate the uh, black schedule 40 or 80 pipe that we've got there. And this is the, uh, the mandrel for it. Um, going to use the speed square anyways to get the lines drawn. I'm going to go pretty light so I can hopefully not have to re-sand and finish some of the stuff I've already done over there. All right, getting ready to uh, get the lines drawn on here. Kind of partially drew this one a little bit, but I need to extend it down a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, so hopefully I've got the uh, X small enough that it's going to disappear. Well, we got the hole drilled, but... Uh, Pretty sure that that wasn't supposed to fall off at the same time. Alrighty, so now that the uh, hole is drilled, um, this is the uh, pipe that we've got. So this is going to fit inside here. Should be just a smidge loose, and we're going to attach it and screw it into here so it doesn't move around too much. Um, the actual sections of pipe are uncut, so then one, once that's set, um, the pipe will stick into there. Um, part way up here is where we will uh, 
cut the pipe off, probably about a foot high or so, and cut that down so then we can uh, install the Zephyr vent. And then we'll have to pipe it the rest of the way up, all the way up there, and uh, drill another hole to the outside of the house and port it off. Uh, we do have some angled pieces um, just for angling it out. And then also, uh, once it gets uh, just outside, um, we're gonna be able to make a little vent cover on the end and make sure that we don't get a bunch of bugs and other critters inside, especially the eight-legged variety. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna have to stop here anyways because uh, I personally don't have a uh, chop saw to cut that uh, piece of uh, pipe at this time, but uh, in the next day or two, we'll probably borrow one from a friend and then uh, drill the holes up up there anyways and get that going and have you along for that too. Take care.